Okay, so this is the perspective as well as all of the other elements combined that we've learned from week 19 up to week 24, which includes line in the um, oils, and then color theory, shape, symmetry, and texture. And we're adding in perspective to this one. So for here is Christ handing the keys of the kingdom to St. Peter by Pietro Pergino, 1482. And you can see from this picture that the perspective is here, coming to the vanishing point with the people in the doorway. Okay, but we're going to be focusing on all of the aspects in this picture, including the color, and you can see that in all of their robes, the texture on the robes, the texture on the roof of the basilica. We're gonna be focusing on symmetry, our balance between both sides of the picture. We're gonna be focusing on line or the oils that we see when we talk about these drawing these windows in and this triangle here and the archways and all of those things. And then we're and then we're gonna bring it into perspective as we bring it to a close. So the very first thing that we're going to talk about is line. So you can see here we've made an outline of this painting, which is in the Sistine Chapel on the north wall. We've made an outline of it and we've included um, the outline of each of the uh, people that are in the foreground because the painting is divided into foreground, middle ground with all these little dudes here, and then background, all the architecture and the landscaping behind it. So what we're going to focus on right now is line and we're going to take a look at the Florence Baptistry right here, which is what this building is a representation of. So after the observation time of this picture that we're going to be going through in class, I want you to ask the students if they remember what they've learned about art in the past few weeks. This would be a great time to take out the previous previous pictures that, uh, that we've studied, but if you don't want to, that's totally fine. And uh, we're going to start with oils. So bring their attention to the actual baptistry right here and have them count the number of windows on each side. And we can count them together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have eight on this side as well. And we have two kind of half windows that we can see from the artist's perspective on each side of this triangle right here. Okay, ask them what shape they are. And they're rectangular. And if you can get close enough to see, they have these triangles at the top and then these half circle um curved half circles at the bottom. Okay, so what I want them to do is I want them to draw those rectangular windows in, in the part of the Florentine baptistry on the outline. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to draw those windows in. Okay, so I've got a sharp little pencil right here. Hopefully you can see it. So there's one, two, three, and four. Okay, I'm going to fill those in because those windows are gray inside. And then we're going to put a triangle on top of each one. And then the curved half circle on the bottom of each. And we want to do the same thing up here. One, two, three, four, triangle, 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 Curved half circle, curved half circle, curved half circle, curved half circle. And then we're going to do the same here on the right side. One, two, three, four, triangle, 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 and so on. And then we're going to come here. You can finish this top right part on your own. And then up here we have, if you notice, we go back to the top right here. You have this triangle shape right here. And then this window and this window are not completely full. So we're going to take them up like this, add the triangle at the top, take them up like this, add the triangle at the top, right? And then what, bring your attention to this, bringing your students' attention to what shape is this right here. This is another triangle. We're going to fill that line in. There's the triangle. And what is the shape inside of that triangle? It's a circle. So we're going to fill that circle in. And what is the shape on either side of that circle? They're triangles. 
So we're going to fill those triangles in right there, just like that. And we're going to take this step by step, okay? And we're going to come down here to the arch. Now notice that this archway, there's this particular line here, curved line, and then there's a curved line right there as well. When you come down here, you see only one curved line. So you want to add that second curved line in right there, okay? And then if you look at the, the curved line here, you've got a triangle and a triangle on either side of that curved line. So you're going to draw that in. Draw that in right there. Okay, so now you've completed that arch. But what about the doorway in this arch? All right, and here's where the perspective comes in. So we're going to take a straight edge ruler and notice these orthogonal lines that the artist includes in his painting, right? If you take your straight edge and you align your straight edge with the orthogonal line above Christ's head, you notice that it connects right there with the figures in the doorway. And then if you go to this one right here, it connects right there, the figures in the doorway. And what have we just discovered? That, my dear little friends, is the vanishing point. So you have the vanishing point there. And remember from our warm up, perspective, polygon perspective page, the, uh, the vanishing point always has to be on the horizon line. The horizon line is where the sky meets the ground, where the ocean meets the ground, and there it is, right there where those two heads meet. So on our page right now, we're going to take our straight edge, we're going to align, make a very light line right there, hopefully you can see that. We're going to make a very light line here, the orthogonal line there's our vanishing point. Okay, and what is in the doorway? It's these two little men. So I'm just going to draw two little ovals to represent those men. And now I'm going to draw the rectangle doorway. And notice how far it comes up. It comes almost to the very uh, uh, top of that arch, or the bottom of that arch. So I'm going to bring that doorway up and over. And there's our doorway. And what do we do with this arch? Notice how dark it is in here and how dark it is in the doorway. This, this lends to the idea of depth. There's something behind there, right? So this, this archway has depth in it. It's not just flat. So we're going to draw a line across here and we're going to just kind of shade that in and we're going to shade the doorway in as well. Okay. Now from there, you can add your lines that you see on the sides. You can add the texture in that you see on the roof, which is like this. Curved lines again, all the way around. And then you see here, there's a te there's texture. It's almost like a balcony here. So you can fill this in with your pencil. You've got your other windows over here. You can add your inside archway line with your with the second curved line right in there. And then there's an inside curved archway right there, which is not included in here. We can add that in as well. It's just a curved line. You can add some texture from the ceiling in. And we'll be going over this in color when we're done. Okay, so that takes care of the Florentine Baptistry.